This is on Drop Rate, a series where I hunt items in old school RuneScape within their stated rates according to the OSRS wiki. If I get the items within the rates, for example up to 10,000 lava dragons for a visage, I get to keep everything I earn during the grind. If I do not receive it, I have to give away half the loot to you guys, the viewers. With that, let's get into today's episode. In today's episode, we are going for another champion scroll. Last time I did this was way back in episode 11, so we are definitely long overdue. This time, we are going for the zombie champion scroll, which, as all other scrolls, is 1 in 5,000 drop rates. The monster of choice for this grind is rather strange, however. I'm sure you recognize these monsters, but if not, these are the afflicted. They are located at the center of Morton and is a part of the Shades of Morton quest. You can actually cure them with a serum 207 made during the quest, made with a taramin potion and some ashes. However, this time I won't be quite so merciful. So let's head over to Morton and get started with the grind. Well, we have already learned one thing that is going to slow this grind down a lot. Apparently, I cannot use a cannon in Morton, so I will have to manually tag everything. I guess I might as well just tag all of them with rune light. You can see how many there are, and this right here where I'm standing right now would be a perfect cannon spot, but that just doesn't work, unfortunately. Now, when it comes to loot from these creatures, it's going to be very similar to the goblin video. There's not really anything interesting at all on the table, except for beginner and easy clue scrolls, which is actually pretty common. So during the grind, we should see quite a lot of them, and that is probably where I'm going to be getting most of my money. Because of that, over the course of the video, I will update my inventory to basically have all the perfect teleports for the beginner and the easy clue scrolls, so the further in the video you see, you will probably see my inventory change quite a bit. And yep, that did not take long at all. That is the first clue scroll of the grind. Let's see what the first step of the video is going to be. Doric. Okay, that's very easy. And there it is, the first clue scroll completed. I will just keep them at the bottom of my inventory for the rest of the grinds. Hopefully, I don't mispress them and open. Now, besides clue scrolls, I do think, unironically, the Raynar Weeds is the most valuable drop I can get from these. So yeah, I'll pick them up. Oh, we actually got the easy clue scroll almost exactly on its rate. One in 121, and we got it on 118. No way Jagex did this. There's a Doric step for both beginner and easy clue scrolls. They basically just copy-pasted it. That is so funny. I had no idea what that was actually the case. And that is now also the first easy clue scroll completed. Putting that at the bottom of the inventory, just like the beginner one. I've never tried this. What actually happens when you talk to these guys when they are afflicted? That actually makes a lot of sense, actually. Wait. That doesn't make any sense at all. Never mind. Well, we are in a bit of a predicament. I got two beginner clue scrolls back to back before I had time to pick one up. So I guess we're going to have to be really fast and get back here and pick up the second one after I complete this one. This one is a really fast step, so I guess I will do this one first. Hopefully it's going to be easy. That was not a one-step clue scroll, so I will have to go back and juggle these again to reset them. But that is not too big of a deal. Okay, the first one completed. Let's see if we can get back in time to pick up the second one. And it's still on the ground. Perfect. It has not been long at all. I've probably been doing this for less than an hour, including all of the clue scroll completions. And that is now 500 afflicted killed. And we've got a decent amount of beginner clues, probably on drop rate. But for easy clue scrolls, I've only had one so far. After this one, we are hitting 1000 KC on the Afflicted, and we have not seen the Champion Scroll just yet, but I have been timing it, and we seem to be getting around 400 kills an hour, which is definitely not too bad. That means this grind overall is around, I guess, 14-13 hours, which is definitely not too long of a grind. So I wanted a bit of a check on how you guys felt about my luck in the past videos that I posted, and I asked, could you explain my luck with one word in Old School RuneScape, please? This is what I get. Uh, disgusting, frustrating, annoying, unbearable, cringe. So I feel like maybe it's time to win another challenge. Hopefully I get the champion skull in this video, and I can be even more disgustingly lucky. Wait, no way! I had no idea this is actually Purdue's house, the guy that you can buy all these lost items from. I thought he was always at the Ferox Enclave, and I thought that was like one of the only spots he was at. He actually has his own house. It even says that on the clue scroll step, Purdue's house. That is so interesting. 
So I knew the value, obviously, of the monster's drops would be absolutely horrendous from these, but it is worse than I anticipated. I just got three coins there on 2,000 KC done, and that is 288 GP average per kill. Obviously not counting in the clue scrolls, so they will have to save me. Oh my god! Yo! <laughs> What an absolute god. Is he going to do barrels with that or is he questing? Oh my. I barely had time to pick up the easy one and we get a beginner as well. Yeah, sometimes you go here and we just instantly get two clue scrolls. As we hit the halfway point and having not won the challenge just yet, I was kind of curious to know how long ago it was since I lost a challenge in this series. And it was actually, after looking into it, episode number 44, the Grotesque Guardian one, and we are now on episode 51. Absolutely flying through the kills, 3000 KC done, and I am just sitting here waiting. Just looking at the top of my screen for that collection log slot to pop up, but nothing so far. And only 2,000 left to go. I've actually been counting. It takes me roughly 3 hits on average to kill these afflicted. And one Solra scale for my blowpipe is 112 GP. So every kill costs me 336 GP in just Solra scales. And I'm getting 288 back. So uh, yeah, that is just one of the supplies I'm using as well. I have to say, things are not looking great for actually winning this challenge, which would be a bit of a shake-up. We just hit 4,000 afflicted KC, and I think in terms of clue scrolls, on beginners we are slightly lucky at 49, and on easies we are slightly unlucky, so that is kind of unfortunate. I would have preferred to get more easy ones, because the beginner rewards are pretty damn bad. But I guess we'll see at the end of the video what the results are going to be. Maybe I'll uh, make up on the luck on easy clue scrolls and get a bunch of them in the last 1000. After saying that, we are now 300 kills deep with absolutely no beginner and no easy clue scroll at all. So I guess I jinxed myself. Wait, hold on. I never thought about this. I guess this is kind of a new NPC, but I have actually been watching a lot of like Zelda videos recently. Of course, as Tears of the Kingdom came out recently. This guy, Dampe... His name is actually a reference to the Gravekeeper in Ocarina of Time. So that is very, like, fitting, because he is pretty much a Gravekeeper here with a coffin and everything. That is so cool. There are so many references in Old School RuneScape, it's actually overwhelming at times. Well, this is it. I am now on 499 KC. Which Afflicted is going to be the last one? Which one looks like it has the champion scroll the most? Uh, let's try this one. This is the one. Level 34 afflicted. This is the last one for the grind. Or we have officially lost the challenge. And uh, that was uh, quite a loss of a streak. No champion scroll. And this is all the loot. We got 37 easy clue scrolls and 57 beginners. And of course, to double show you guys, I have not actually got it. This is my collection log for champion scrolls. The only one I have is the giant champion scroll. But it's now time to open nearly 100 clue scrolls collectively with the easy and beginners. We're going to start off with the beginners, and I'm only going to be showing you guys when I get a new unique. And for the beginners, we have 7 out of 16. Oh, we have Sandwich Lady Bottom for the first one. Of course, not worth a ton, these beginners. Okay, when you get cabbages, that is a missed roll on the unique table, so that is unfortunate to see. Oh, Demon Feet. Another unique, so we are now at, I guess, 9 out of uh, 16. Oh my, did we just get 4 boots back to back to back to back? That is insane. And we are down to the last 5, let's go ahead and show them all on video. We, oh, get another item, Jester Cape. And the last one, we have... Cabbages, so we did miss another roll. All of these items are not really worth too much. The overall loot from beginners is on the screen right now, 395k, so I don't know. I don't know if it's even worth picking this up. I guess some uniques are worth, like the Just the Cape is 54k. But this is now my updated beginners log, 202 completed with 10 out of 16.
But let's go ahead and open the 37 ECs that we now have. And from EC Clue Skulls, we can actually get Masters. It's one in 50. And for my collection log, they are 56 out of 131 completed in 327. Oh my god, look at the first two Clue Skulls I opened. 682 GP and 450. This is not looking good. Oh, we have the first unique, Steel Plate Skirt G. That actually took a while. You can see I have only 19 left, so that was 18 before I got one single unique. This has been absolutely horrible. I've got nothing, basically, except the bad drops. Just look at the chat. 800 GP, 600, 1.8. It's just so bad. I don't know what happened, but we have the last five. Let's go ahead and open them on video. 121k, the first one actually having some value. Unfortunately, a duplicate. Let's keep going. 56k, 700k, or 700 GP rather. 896. I didn't remember ECs being this bad. And the last one is 2k. That was just terrible. This is all the loot that I got. Not the best money. It has been such a long time since I've done a giveaway, so you guys might not even remember this, but the minimum giveaway I will ever do is 10 million. And because we made basically no money in this video at all, that is going to be the giveaway for this video. 10 million GP. How you win this is on the screen right now. And good luck to all of you guys who want to participate. Also a reminder, when I hit 50,000 subscribers, I will do a live stream here on YouTube where I do anything and everything to make money. And at the end of the stream, I will give everything away to you guys at the Falador Party Room. If you want to help me reach that, make sure you subscribe. But until next time, guys, take care.